Animator uses keyframes and interpolation to create animations. Because of this feature, you only have to capture keyframes to create a full animation. Animator allows you to create these keyframes by modifying the positions, rotation, and size of objects. When you manipulate geometry by changing the position, rotation, or size, you can use snapping to control the position of your operations in the Navisworks scene view. To turn on snapping mode, click Toggle Snapping on the Animator toolbar. The snap controls work like gravity around the snap points. You can snap the start position of a gizmo to a relevant point in the animation set, such as a center corner or a vertex of geometry. You can also snap to the desired point on the screen, such as the center of another geometric object. Further snapping options are available by selecting the Application button, Options, and in the Options Editor, Expand Interface, and click Snapping. Now let's select an animation set located in our first scene. When animation sets are selected in the Animator Scene view, the geometry that is contained in that set is highlighted in the scene view. There are three different highlighting methods available. Shaded, Wireframe, and Tinted. The highlight methods can be changed by selecting Highlight Section in the Options Editor. Use the drop-down to the right of Method to toggle between the three available modes. Conceptually, keyframes represent relative translations, rotations, and scaling operations from the previous keyframe, or, in the case of the first keyframe, the model's starting position. New keyframes are created by clicking the Capture Keyframe button on the Animator toolbar. The captured keyframe is added to the current selected animation set, camera, or section plane at the position of the time slider. When you create a new keyframe in a different location than a previous keyframe, Navisworks automatically interpolates the changes between the two keyframes and connects them together. If you wish to have a slideshow animation, click the keyframe and deselect the interpolate option. This disables interpolation and moves the scene from the first keyframe definition directly to the second keyframe definition.